Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a video on how you can find eSpots in Webs for Commerce. But before I get started, make sure you follow me on my blog, Twitter, LinkedIn, and of course my YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and get going. Okay, we start here in Management Center, and you can see we're under the Marketing tab, and we're working on the Aurora eSite. You can see a list of all the different eSpots under the eSpots um, selection. And in these eSpots, you can see the name and whatnot. And you can also go and bring up all the different activities associated with that eSpot. And you can see I have one activity, which I can also view in a calendar view to see when it's enabled or disabled. If I had multiple eSpots, you know, rotating content in and through, throughout, uh, you know, days and time periods. But what we're going to use is we're going to try and figure out if we have this whole list of eSpots, how do we know where they are on the website? Well, we can use the powerful site preview function to bring the eSite up and look at the different spots. So I'm going to launch this with the current date and time, but I could also launch this for the future, for when activities are enabled or disabled, etc. Um, so I can see what this site is going to look like in the future. But I'm just going to go ahead and launch this uh, at the current date and time. And you can see here that we have the site and it comes up. And I get this nice little toolbar. I can see the time and date that I started, what the inventory levels, and if time is elapsing. But I also have this neat little button here called Show Marketing Spots. So all the different rectangles on the screen, I can now, as a marketing person, figure out which eSpots are associated with the content. So you can see here, Home Row Content 1 is right here. And I can even bring up a little debug panel to show me which web activities are activated and which ones went out. So this is kind of my debug tool to figure out which activities are enabled and which are actually producing content. I can also go to different categories. So if I go over to the dresses category, I can see that inside of here, the way the Aurora store is formatted, it actually puts the category ID in front of the identifiers. And this makes all the different categories within the system uh, completely unique. So you can see here we've got dresses row one content, dresses row two content, and me as a marketing person can put different kinds of content in there. And if I go to a different category, so we'll, let's hide these and go to apparel, and then we'll go to blouses and see what that looks like. So under blouses, you can see here when we turn on the marketing spots, it's essentially the same format, but with women shirt blouses in front of row content one, etc. So very easy to find the eSpots in Webster Commerce just by using Site Preview. And that's pretty much it. Thank you.